Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com. Today we're taking a look at my new Boeing 737 style PFD gauge. So let's start off with the buttons. So I'm only using S1 and S6 and S1 is used just to toggle the information page on and off so you can see the version number and some other useful information about the manual and stuff. Uh, S6 will toggle the background color between black and blue and if you have any of my other digital gauges that has a black blue toggle this will toggle those as well okay so the left dial that will change the um, AIS value so as we turn the uh, left dial here the AIS value is moving up and down and the right dial will change the Q and H value so you can set your altitude. Okay, so let's just cover some of the stuff that's on the screen. So we have the flight director bars, so you can turn that on and off with the flight director. And we also have uh, some of the AP notifications. So if I turn on the speed hold the heading hold and the altitude hold we've got the ap hold indicators on the top of the gauge as well we have the distance for the current um waypoint and uh, the dme currently showing 0.27 because i'm actually on the ground by the ils um we have the crs value so as you change the CRS, you got the CRS needle at the bottom that changes, as well as the degrees heading at the top. We have an angle of attack indicator. We have the usual ILS indicators, so that you've got the glide scope and the approach indicators. We also have the radio height off the ground. Uh, we have the ILS frequency, so that's the COM one. No, sorry, to lie, that's the NEV1 frequency. Um, we also have the altitude tapes. And we have the, um, sorry, that's the speed tapes. We have the altitude tapes, plus we've got a vertical speed indicator here as well. Um, and as you change the um, AP IAS, you can see that changes here. And as we change the altitude AP, that changes here as well. And if you move the heading bug, we've got uh, the heading bug showing on the bottom compass as well. Okay, so this pretty much covers all the stuff you would expect to see in the uh, B737 PDF. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. I've pretty much copied it straight out of the Boeing from the flight simulator. Um, and I've also pinched some of the graphics from a real Boeing 737 so I've pretty much covered everything that I was seeing on the display there but if I have missed anything then please let me know and I can easily add it so I hope you found that useful and I hope you like the new gauge if you haven't subscribed please do so and come back and check out some of our other videos thanks for watching bye for now